We are unarmed! You have no right to fire on us! I beg to differ. Hey guys, what's up? Max Kyder, welcome back to another Star Wars Rebels video, and today we are going to talk about episode 3, the Antilles Extraction. Now, not gonna lie, this episode starts out pretty slow, but when it picks up, it gets really, really tense. So this episode starts when a rebel transport gets destroyed, and that causes a shortage of pilots for the rebellion. So a fulcrum agent reveals that there are indeed Imperial cadets who wish to defect to the rebels, and this sends Sabine to an undercover mission to an Imperial academy. Now we learn that fulcrum is indeed a code name for informants and not specific to Ahsoka herself, so that's nice to know. Now I love how we got to see the inner workings of an Imperial academy, and we got to see how ruthless the protocols are there. You know, we see that sometimes even. The original Imperial Protocols are actually a lot nicer than the people themselves, and it's nice to see an Academy uh, finally shown in, uh, in Star Wars Rebels, specifically, you know, the Flying Academy. Now let's get the biggest elephant of the room out of the way. Yes, we got to see young Wedge Antilles, and we see that he is uncertain about the Empire, hence he defects to the Rebels. We also got to see two other pilots who are uh, Wedge's friends, which is uh, Hobby and Rake, and it's a nice easter egg since we see Hobby in Empire Strikes Back. Now let's talk about Wedge, shall we? So Wedge, since he's pretty young here, I like his, you know, his optimism, and he can and you can also see a bit of, you know, a bit of cockiness in him, but not too much. And again, like I said, since he, he's still young, he's not the wedge that we know yet. But I love it when he says, like, I can fly anything. It brings me back to some, uh, to episode 7, to when uh, Poe Dameron said that. And I just like when pilots say that, you know, when a pilot states that he is good at what he's doing and he does it, you know. And also, it was really awesome to see Sabine fight uh, Price. I, I just love seeing hand-to-hand -hand combat in Star Wars, and I'm pretty sure Price isn't dead. He just she just got electrocuted, and yeah, it was pretty rad. Also, I really like the nod to the how slow the Tie Bomber is, because if you played Battlefront 2, then you know how slow those things are compared to the fighters or the interceptors, and I just like that tiny nod, you know, especially for players or people who are well versed into the universe or the technical aspects of Star Wars, you know, I just like that a lot. Now let's talk about Kallus. Kallus, I love him even more now. He was nothing but a generic villain when we first meet him, but now he has layers upon him and the way that we saw him help the rebels is a clear sign that he will defect soon and I've been speculating that uh, Kallus will defect to the rebels ever since that episode when Zep and uh, Kalos got stuck in that Geonosian moon and they had to bond together and all. And yeah, seeing him helping the rebels is quite obvious that he will do that. And not to mention, here's a theory that has been floating around uh, for some time, here for a short time, but I think it's actually quite true. Uh, the Volcrum that we heard in the beginning of the, of the episode is probably Kalos. And yeah, a lot of people say it's probably the accent and all, but I think it, with or without the accent, it's probably him, you know, it's... Why Why would we see Callus in this episode? Uh, like, he has nothing to do with the plot, you know, like, you could have just seen Price, you know, with Tron. Like, I bet the reason why Callus was in this episode so we can connect that, uh, we can connect him to the Volcrum in the beginning of the episode, you know. We will probably see that be brought up again in another episode. I don't think it will, it will be the next episode because it will focus on Hera, but I think it will be maybe in the episode after. So to wrap this up, the Antilles Extraction was a great episode. I still prefer Holocrons of Fate. I think that was a slightly better episode in my opinion. But this is still a great one. And I don't know if we'll see Wedge as a regular. I hope we do. And I also hope we will see uh, Kallus' turn to the Rebels very, very soon. Oh yeah, another easter egg. Uh, the instructor's, uh, the instructor's uh, voice actor was actually the same voice actor for an Imperial officer back in Battlefront 2 and hence why he sounded so familiar. But yeah, anyway, this is Max Kyder. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel for more quality Star Wars content. Anyway, this is Max Kyder signing off. Peace.